<laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's 2019 <laughs> and this is my first video of 2019. I know I've disappeared for almost two months. I was at home, school holidays and I'm back in UK sitting. Hopefully for the last time because this year is my first year. <laughs> okay, so um, about a month ago on the 27th of December I turned 25. Yeah, I'm a 25 year old. Can you believe that? I don't. But anyway, so I said I'd make a video, um, um, a 25 things I've learnt, a 25 video. I said I was gonna do it before the new year, but well, it's that expensive, to be honest. And being at home means you don't have money, so. I was broke. Okay, I still am broke. But anyway, I'm back at school and there's free Wi Fi. <laughs> okay, I talk too much. I'm gonna try and make this video as brief as possible because I talk too much. Because I try not to Because if you talk too much, talk to me, So I'm part of that crew. So I'm gonna try and make this as brief as possible. So on number one of the 25 things I've learned at 25 is to include God in everything that you do. So being a Christian, I'm saved, born again, child of God, and I believe in involving God in everything that you do. Because if you don't involve him, then what are you doing, darling? What are you doing? Um, number two is to trust God. Now this is what university taught me, to trust God, because... I think for the first two years of varsity, I didn't have financial, I didn't have okay, funding. I didn't have no pastor, no nothing. But each and every year, God would make would make sure that I'm back in here. I don't know how He did it, but I was always back at school, even owing, even if I'm owing money. So I've learned to trust God. Number three is to trust the process. I have learned to trust the process and like understand that. It time nine year to I find you. So if someone does like their lunga is quickly quickly than your things, that still even if it's longer after months later, it's still so long. So you have to just trust the process. Um, number four, I've learned to live in the now, not to stress about what's gonna happen tomorrow because, like the Bible says, tomorrow will stress about itself. You shouldn't be stressing about tomorrow. So I've learned to stop. Stressing about tomorrow and just enjoy the now and live in the now and be happy in the now. Number four, that number, oh, I mean, number five is to not bottle emotions. I'm one of those people who sometimes who let things pile up before I can open up. So when the bottle gets full, everything spills out and things don't come out the way they're supposed to come out. So I've learned to just address things there and there. So when I'm angry, I'm angry and I'm going to show you I'm angry and I'm going to tell you why I'm angry. Get me? Number six, I've learned that failure is nothing but a delay. Like, failure is just that. You just have to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and just go back and fight again. I've learned that about failure, especially if I tells teaches you that. Not the nicest way, but it teaches you that. You learn to just know that failure is nothing but just a delay. You're going to get there. Number seven, I laugh a lot. So I've learned to laugh through it all. I'm literally always laughing. Even when something's not going right, I'll be that person who's laughing. <laughs> I'm always laughing and it helps. Like, it helps me a lot. So I laugh through many things. Okay, I cry and then laugh, but I... I do both, but I, I love more. Number eight um, is to smile more and be more kind because at the end of the day, you don't know what the next person is going through. Like being a person that I've gone through depression. So I've, I've learned to understand that sometimes you just have to be kind to a person because some days when I was going through depression and it was like my bad day, if a person just smiles, sometimes that's, that warm smile would warm me up, even though I'm not feeling, you know, good and stuff so I've learned to smile more and be more kind um, number nine 
I've learned to understand people around me because at the end of the day we are not the same person we are not raised the same way so before I jump into conclusions I try to understand their standpoint but what's going on with their mentality when they do something um, even when a person hurts you you just try some I just try sometimes to understand but and like Skip on, you know, try to understand the upbringing, you know, try to understand but you know, where the person is coming from before jump into conclusions about the person. So I've learned to understand people more about them. Try, I've tried, I've learned to try and understand people around me. Excuse me. Number 10, this I do a lot. Alone time is important. Like, um, you know, sometimes we are, we are always around people and it's always no, noisy and, you know, sometimes when you are around the environment, you end up losing yourself, you end up losing Lomdongoye, but if you take time sometimes, just sit alone and just, like, try to understand yourself because at the end of the day, Nati, we need to try and understand ourselves so that, you know, sometimes for you to better understand other people, you have to understand yourself first. So if you take time to just sit alone and my alone time is usually after a long day I switch off the lights yes I start I like sitting in the dark switch off the lights open my window so that there's some fresh air coming in and just sit there you know and just sit there go through things go through my day I wanna go day and just try and understand myself more number 11 I've learned to forgive more now forgiving is hard it's hard but sometimes like they usually say that when you forgive you are doing it for yourself mostly because sometimes you're holding on to grudges and people don't even know that they hurt you or they did you wrong but when you learn to forgive them you're setting yourself free number 12 I have learned to do what makes me happy <laughs> like YouTube <laughs> I learned to do things that make me happy because at the end of the day, if I'm happy, everyone around me is happy. If I'm grumpy, well, everyone's going to notice and I'll change the mood anyway. But I've learned to be happy and I'm just that happy, happy person. I'm just that bubbly person who's just always happy. Okay, yeah, I know when to cry, but I'm always happy because... Well, I can make myself happy. No one mm -hmm. um, can make me happy more than I can make myself happy. I've learned that. Number 13, start something new. I try each and every year to start something new. Like in 2017, I started to start my business and done creations and it's been amazing. Last year I was like, let's do YouTube too. And I think I want to do a podcast too. So <laughs> I'm on for some, I'm, try, I'm trying something new, you know. Because at the end of the day, if you love many things, why not just do what you love? Do as many things as you want to do because we only live once. So do some, try something new. Do something new, you know. Number 14, I've learned to breathe. Now, if you're me and you panic about everything and sometimes it feels like you can't breathe, like, you know, when you... Like it feels like everything is closing in. I've learned to just try and breathe, you know, because sometimes, well, things happen and you feel like you can't breathe. But I've learned to just take some time out and breathe. Just, it seems like something silly, but sometimes we just need to just, just breathe. <laughs> Number 15 is give yourself time to heal because, I mean, Going around um, with wounds, sometimes you, you tend to hurt other people because you hurt, you know. But if you take time to heal, take time to allow God because, well, like I told you, I'm a, you know, I'm a born again Christian and I believe that God um, is my healer. So sometimes I need to take time and just allow God to, you know, go through my wounds, help me heal and help me, you know, become a better person because we tend to hurt each other if you're going around with your wounds. You know, and number 16 is to spoil yourself as much as possible. Like, people who know me, they know I've got this, um, the saying that I usually say because I'm a student, right? And I have financial aid, and when I'm in Malingena, at least once or twice a month, 
from home and from the financial aid. So sometimes, you know, when you, I like spoiling myself and saying that I'd rather be happily broke, but than to have money and not spoil myself. I believe in spoiling myself and it makes me happy, you know. Um, number 17. I have learned that you are not entitled to anything. I mean, nothing. Hence, when you understand that you're not entitled to anything, you tend to work, you work, to work hard. You know, you learn to work for what you want because you can be, some of us were not, were not, are not born from families where everything um, is, there, is readily available, where everything you can be handed in. Ungainigwa in a silver platter, you know, you have to work hard. And I've learned that I'm not entitled to anything. So I need to work hard to get what I want. You know, work extra hard, sometimes more than anyone else. While I know that there are people who have to work extra hard than me. So I've learned that that's just life, you know. And number 18 is to find friends that will motivate you and have similar vision to yours. Now this this helps a lot because when you have people who are motivated, even when you feel demotivated, you know that they'll be there to pick you up and tell you, girl, go fight, you know, go back. Because like I said, university teaches you a lot. You know, I've my my degree is delayed by two years right now. And there was a time where I was like, Why am I even still here? Because seemingly the degree is like but because I've surrounded by myself Gaban who motivate me, people who want to see me succeed, people will tell me that you ain't, you ain't giving up just now, just yet, so go back and fight, you know. Surround yourself with people like that. People won't allow you to give up easily. People will be there, will be like, go fight, you know. Excuse me. Number 19. Do not pretend. Well, I cannot pretend to save my life. Like, I can't pretend. When I am that happy, I'm not going to pretend that I'm happy. When I'm not happy with what you did, I'm going to tell you what you did. So learn to not pretend because being pretentious um, leads people to thinking that, okay, one will go right, you know, and then they won't understand when you suddenly flip the switch on them because you're not happy. So when I'm not happy, I'll tell you that, dude, what you did mm -mm, ain't it, and I won't pretend. So with me, when I'm happy, I'm happy. When I'm smiling, I mean I'm smiling, like I'm smiling because, you know, I'm not pretending to be something that I'm not. Get me? Number 20. Tears are not a weakness. I'm one who cries a lot. As much as I laugh a lot, I cry a lot. And usually when you cry, like, I always feel like I get my power from my tears. So I'll cry, 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 cry and wake up tomorrow morning and go fight. And I'll be stronger than I was before I cried. So I feel like, for me, I, I grew up thinking that they were my weakness because at home, um, I'm not really the youngest. I'm the second to the youngest. So I, I grew up being the one who cries a lot. Everything made me cry to an extent where my siblings kind of made me feel like um, my crying was a weakness. But growing up, I realized that, girl, cry. If you feel like crying, do that. Cry. Cry in jail cry a lot and also like you will you know joy comes in the morning joy comes in the morning so you can cry 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 but the most important thing is to wake up and go fight again even if it means coming back and crying but at the end of the day you know um number 21 is to not depress to not let depression win like though when you're going through depression it feels like there's no way you're a poem. Like, no one cares, no one is there. Like, you're all alone and you're unimportant, that you, you're useless, you know. But don't let that be you. Don't let that um, determine Mumban. Because one of the other things that I learned, um, especially um, this year when it was my birthday, usually my birthday is the time where family is around but this year because there's so many things happening in the family and there's so many events all over um, the Eastern Cape so people didn't really come back to Mount Frey um, at home but people were in their places because you know they had to travel a lot so for the first time in so many years uh, my birthday it was just me my parents and my siblings and it was weird because 
usually everyone is back so this year i learned to appreciate my friends you know and i learned i the, the warmth they gave me made me realize that actually i'm important you know that even if this year depression hits me i'm gonna try and i feel like i bottled up the warm feeling that i felt on my birthday so i feel like this year when depression comes knocking on my door telling me that i'm no one and no one cares i'll remind her that dude that day i felt it like i know that people are around so i feel like sometimes you have to do that bottle um a certain kind of emotion so that when it hits you you kind of try and remember how it feels, how everyone is around there, even if you feel like they're not there. So at the end of the day, don't let depression win. Like, it's hard. I know it's hard going through depression. It's hard. But you just have to keep at it, you know. Um, number 22, your happiness is your priority. Like I said, no one owes you anything. Being happy is a choice and you have to choose it for yourself regardless of what happens just choose happiness like we all have i have chosen to be happy and so no one can tell me nothing like when i decide to be happy i am happy so make it your priority because at the end of the day if you're happy if you're really happy everything goes smoothly you know sometimes you don't you don't have to be in a happy place in a in a good situation for you to be happy you know things could be falling apart in your one but get better but you have to just choose happiness choose to be happy choose to love <laughs> just to just be happy number 23 we all have toxic traits do evaluate yourself because sometimes it's not like people are the people are people around you are only toxic you also have your own toxic traits so sometimes you just have to sit down and evaluate yourself especially sometimes you know how people leave some friendships um, don't work out and you don't even know what happened sometimes you have to sit you don't have to blame the other person sometimes you have to sit, sit down with yourself and try and evaluate what happened try and see where you went wrong or where that other person went wrong to just see if is it your toxic trait or is it theirs it's like like sonke we have our bad traits like we all can be toxic we all um are capable of being toxic in, in our friendships and our relationships and our everything so sometimes you have to just sit down and evaluate yourself and try to you know meet other people halfway and not be selfish about it so you you can actually apologize when you see that you go all wrong you know if you actually know how toxic you can be too as a human being and number 24 no one is promised to you like this i learned um in december when some things happened and there was some there's a f okay let me not talk <laughs> let me not go deeper than that but you're not promised anyone you know you could there's this band that i like um tank and the bangers and she has this um song where she first explains how we're not we're not promised anyone you could make a dinner date with someone and for next week and next week comes and they're nothing maybe they have left you maybe they have passed on you know you're not promised to anyone so you know you have to live fully you have to you know just understand that they could be here tomorrow and tomorrow they can they could be here today and tomorrow they won't be there so they are not promised to you the same way that you're not promised to anyone too and the last one be you it's weird yes. just be yourself you know, sometimes, um, like I said, pretending is just mm -mm. so when you're yourself, when you, when you are you, people have to adjust. Sometimes um, there was a time where I think I kind of lost myself because I was trying to fit in. Because sometimes people don't understand you, but at some point I realized that nah, it's not worth it. I just need to be myself. Be Uli Lita. This is Uli Lita. <laughs> this is this is just her. And I've learned that people actually, if they're supposed to be in your life, they'll adjust. They will, you know, accept you as the person that you are. You know, if you are, if you are yourself, they have no choice other than to just take you as you are. But also, it doesn't mean that you have to um, impose yourself, go and, you know, be like, ah, this is me. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If you see that okay fine some things need to change because they're toxic and they are you know affecting your relationships don't be on time i'm being me and stuff 
try and you know fix it if that makes sense but in everything be yourself be yourself so i am a 25 year old <laughs> it's hard to believe i'm 25 okay i'm 18 i'm joking i'm 25 and thank you thank you thank you for watching those that was my 25 things i've learned at 25 I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you subscribe, like and comment and tell me um, what have you learned so far in life. Like I've learned a lot of things but those are the things that I thought of, you know, that it, I feel like they help me on a daily basis. Happy New Year again. Hope to see you soon. There's more videos coming. There's a lot of me you're going to see. I'm back. I am back. <laughs> You're not going to see a lot of me and especially this year because this year is my, I'm planning, I hope God is on my side on this one. I'm planning to make this my final year at varsity because I am tired, I am fed up, I'm okay I'm with being a student. So I'm planning on making this year a very good year, I'm planning on just being happy, I'm just, you know, exploring this year fully and with God by myself, by my side though, not alone because... I can't do anything without him. So, yeah, now I'm rambling. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends, tell their friends, and to tell everyone that Ulelita is back. Thank you for watching. <laughs>